Hey everyone, this is Sarah and uh, I'm going to be talking today about the importance of a storyboard. So that's the discussion video for the week for you. Uh, the importance of a storyboard for making a comic or manga. For a lot of people who are still starting or kind of beginners, I would have to say beginners, um, they make a common mistake and I did that. We have an idea in our heads and we shape it up and we start drawing the final version of our story right away without drawing any kind of uh, storyboard to it or anything like that. Imagine this, what would happen if we build a building without a proper foundation? Simply it's gonna crumble down. In the case of drawing, we're gonna stop. Uh, some people would uh, stop at the point and then think what's happened or what's gone wrong and they restart from the start again of their story or re restart the do uh, doing doing their story uh, again and uh, uh, sometimes even they redo it a couple of times until they um, kind of realize we need to base it on a proper storyboard or we need a proper foundation for our story we cannot keep doing it or going with the flow like this because it's simply we're just gonna stop at one certain point. Now, I don't believe that there, you know, there aren't people who go with the flow. I'm sure there's a lot of people who go with the flow and their stories are very successful, but most of the people, I believe, the more, the most successful, they have some sort of a storyboard to it. Even if it was just uh, like Mark Collier's video, Thumbs Nail, Thumbs, na thumbs Nail Art, where the, the, the storyboard is like, small drawings which kind of expressing the scene so they are very simple and they take about 10 minutes or something to draw a couple of pages or a page for example they just the, the storyboard of one page in, in in 10 minutes or so but the importance of storyboard well let's talk today for beginners not for professionals for beginners um people who are still kind of starting their comics or mangas Storyboard is going to reveal the weakness in drawing and in writing skills. In drawing, you might be, you know, you might know the, the, the basics and you might be alright with drawing things like people sitting down and standing up or something like that. But what if you're doing a, a fighting comic or shonen comic manga? You might come across that you need to use in fight scenes. So when you are drawing, for example, in your storyboard, a fighting scene, you might find that, oh, I have a difficulty drawing the fighting scenes because I'm not used to drawing fighting scenes. You might just draw it all right, but the drawing might be stiff because you're not used to it yet. And you know, just so you know, people who don't draw a lot from life or a certain position they don't draw from life and they try to draw this position for the first time, it might come out stiff. I'm still dealing with this problem, so that's why I started a storyboard in order to see what kind of uh, positions which I have uh, stiffness with and try to improve. I'll take that position and draw it somewhere outside and I'll just keep on drawing it until I improve that, draw, that that position and I'm sure I can draw it. Uh, so that's one thing about drawing storyboard. It's going to reveal the weakness of your drawing uh, skills and positions or stiffness or whatever. And writing skills. Now when I started writing stories, I used to write it as in a light, uh, a light novel format which wasn't a proper way to write in a comic because in a light novel and a story you're, you're using words to describe everything which has happened in the scenery while the comic is supposed to be like the pictures and the effects are supposed to kind of uh, express what's happening so uh, after drawing you know uh, some time I realized that oh oh my the way that I, that I write stories isn't right so I need to change that around and um, well I, I kind of overcame that problem and I'm more now of uh, well drawing uh, a, a story in a comic or a manga format uh, so that's also another problem that you might face 
Uh, and another thing about drawing a storyboard is that you're you are kind of giving yourself a look ahead on how the comic would look like in the future before drawing the final version. Uh, and you might do something, for example, today, do something tomorrow, and do something after tomorrow. And then when you look at, for example, the three versions of what you did, you might choose the version of today or yesterday or whatever. So you can play around with the storyboard and pick up whatever you like the most. But if you're drawing the final version right away, you're gonna get stuck in drawing one version and then after working so hard and looking back, you just said, oh, I wish I could change that part. If I would change that, the story would have been much, much better. So it's also a way to uh, break look at your story and how it might be shaped up later. So some people draw the storyboard, for example, of a chapter and then they put the chapter. Some people, for example, draw a page and they draw the, 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 the final version of this page right away, like today I'm gonna do the storyboard and if I like it I'm gonna put it as the final version. Some others do, for example, a whole book and after uh, they like the book or how the final version of the story came out they would uh, start drawing in the final, the final version. For me, I would prefer definitely if, um, well, chapter by chapter, or part by part. You're making a storyboard, for example, like the very first 20 pages, and then you start to work on the final uh, version for those first 20 pages. I think it's much easier to, like that. Um, so, my advice is, if you are starting a comic, if you're still kind of beginner, I believe it's best if you start off with something as from 20 or 30 pages and start drawing a storyboard for it before drawing the final version. It's going to be really helpful for you. Uh, so start off with something short. Some people would say maybe you should start something about 50, for example, to 70 pages. Well, why not? Try that if you if if you have the time to uh, and the energy to do that before doing your, uh, the story or the original idea which you want to be turned into, for example, a long time manga or your work which is gonna be, or your work here, or you wanna publish later. Why not? Another thing about storyboard, for example, is, you know, some people might want to know uh, how people would react to their story or their concept art. So you might put the storyboard on a site like DeviantArt or a free webcomic hosting sites and uh, see how people would react uh, to it. They like it or not, they see something missing or they, uh, they see it as really great, you know. And I won't say like put the whole storyboard, maybe a couple of pages here and there if you want to put the whole storyboard, well that's really up to you. Uh, that if you're going, for example, for publishing and before you want to take your work uh, to a publishing company, you would like to show it for, you know, people and just see their opinions first. So that's another way to uh, also use storyboards. So to sum up this video, storyboards are really important because they're the foundation for your, for your work. It's also going to help you improve your drawing and uh, discover some things maybe you didn't know like you need to improve your drawing skills at some points or your writing skills or whatever so it's going to reveal a lot it's a kind of a good prova uh, or reversal before drawing doing the final thing yeah it's kind of a reversal a reversal kind of a training before going ahead and putting the final show that's, uh, I guess that's the way to, the best way to put it, right? So this was the discussion video for, uh, for, for this week. If you want to ask me any questions, please go ahead and post them in the comments. And uh, if you are interested in me doing a discussion on, on drawing or discussions on drawing, please tell me. Uh, and if you have an idea for a drawing discussion video, 
please also write them in the comments and uh, I'll, have, I'll be happily uh, doing uh, I would happily do these drawing discussion videos because they're interesting and they just give you kind of general knowledge and I might look on the internet and they might give me some interesting uh, new information so yeah I hope that you liked this video I hope that you found it useful I'll see you in another video and stay tuned. Later.